play your dress again now, will you? Stop it, Basilio. Well, you're always getting tangled up. hours a day. And we're only sorry they couldn't work for 50. They never got tired. And you want to be a great dancer. Don't think you're a great dancer because your name's in lights and all over the billboards. We're just fooling the public with that stuff. I know, I know. Then get on your feet. I will if only Mama stops sniffling. Mama, stop sniffling. Dorothy, you always talk to me as if I were your wife. If you were my wife, I would have the privilege of beating you. But for 20 years, you have only been an intimate acquaintance, so I still respect you. But, stop sniffing. Gower receipts only. Gower receipts only. Good evening, Baron. Hello, Valdo. Huh. That's a lot of money for a girl who was walking a tightrope in the circus only a few years ago. She's still the most underpaid artist in Paris, and you know it. Well, tell me, uh, do you imitate Suzanne's handwriting, or does she imitate yours? My dear fellow, I am Suzanne. I see.
closer, then. Here's a salary. Shall I open it for you? Please do. Would you like to give Mother a hundred cents? Of course. Now about your manager. Shall I take my ten percent? Please count out yourself. You wish. Very well, my dear. Keep it in a nice, safe place. Thank you. Sandwich number, sandwich number. You're going to be good tonight, Suzanne. Hello, Baron. How are you? Hello, Ted. How are you? Fine. That's fine. Hello. When are you going to make a success of me like you have of Suzanne? You never touch my hat. You heard me. When are you going to? Now, give me that. When are you going to do what you promised? My dear Fifi, you have charm, wit, elegance, and beauty, but you can't dance. And isn't your word of honor any good? None whatsoever. It's a family trait. Family? Baron Adolf Valentin de Derrier de Vermenu, alias Adolf Herring.
Mama thought you were marvelous tonight. I thought you were adequate. Did you? Yes. Oh, good evening. I just wanted. Mademoiselle is not interested. But that isn't why I came. The lady with Mademoiselle Suzanne dropped this. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon. Thank you very much. Look here. <laughs> I run a little puppet show down at the corner. Perhaps you've seen it. And I'd like to sketch Mademoiselle Suzanne and make a puppet of her. A puppet? Out of Suzanne? Yes. You see, it would be very good advertisement for her. For you, not for her. Oh, but you see... I'm sorry, my boy, it's not the question. What are you waiting for? To see if Mademoiselle Suzanne will let me... I told you that's impossible. I know you did. I don't wish to seem fresh about this, but really it's very important to me. Get out. I'll go when Mademoiselle Suzanne tells me to herself. I am Suzanne. Really? Suzanne has a lovely mustache. If you don't get out of here, I'll... I'll have your phone out. The young lady. Who is that high hat, anyway? Does he own the theater or something? He thinks he does. If you don't get out of here, I'll... I'll have your phone out. Why, that's Percy. You talk just like him. Yeah, that's my business, imitating people's voices. Well, you certainly know your business, all right. Yes. Yeah. I was better tonight. You were marvelous, simply marvelous. Marvelous? That's not what you said before. Isn't it? How careless of me. But you were marvelous just the same. Have you been drinking, Dolphy? No. Yes. How did you get in here? I give you one second to clear out. And that's my hat. I'm terribly sorry. I can't explain. It's a funny coincidence how I happen to be behind the screen. You see, I came here first to give you the hundred franc note you dropped in the gallery. I, I, I gave it to this man here. You see, I went a little puppet theater down the alley. And after I saw what a marvelous dancer you were and, and everything. I, I got the idea of making a sketch of you. You know, so I could make a puppet of you for my theater. Oh, I see. It'll only take a few minutes. Get out. If it'll only take a few minutes. I make Mademoiselle's engagement. Perhaps you'd better go. A very impertinent fellow. Isn't he, Mama? <laughs> I hope that will teach you a lesson. 23 in the audience tonight, Luigi. 24. <laughs> Listen to me, Tony. This girl, Suzanne, is becoming the rage of Paris. And a puppet of her would be worth the weight in gold, wouldn't it? I've got to get a real sketch of that girl, haven't I? 
Well, it's up to you to help me find a way. I've written to her. I've gone to the theater. But that confounded manager of hers... And at that time, Sibylette was at the height. The most famous actress in Paris, in all Europe. She lost everything. Fame, fortune, happiness, even the man himself. Ah, oh, poor Sibylette. Tragic story, isn't it, Suzanne? What? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I'll go to bed. Night, Mama. Night, Dolphin. Did you notice that? Didn't listen to one word of my, my bedtime story. And that sad, far away look she had in her eyes for the last five weeks. Good evening. Don't be frightened. Oh, please go away. Please go away. No, she's sending me away. Here I've been trying to see her for weeks and weeks, and she's sending me away. Without even listening to me. It's 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. But you're never alone at any other time. And I've simply got to get a sketch of it. It'll only take a few minutes. I let you sketch me just for five minutes. Will you promise never to bother me again? No. Uh, yes. Then you'd better get it over with right now. Coming down. Well, here I am. Don't worry, I'm not interested in you except to get a sketch. Honestly. Now, let's see. That's the best light. That's all right. Well, I don't see why you can't do this from a photograph. No, that'll be impossible. See, I have to see how you move, how you walk. Would you mind walking back there, please? Like this? No, nicer than that. Like this? That's better. Now, pirouette. Hold it. You like this dress? Yeah. I'll tell you. A young girl needs more relaxation than she gets. Mm. Don't do this, will you? She's a dancer. And what's a dancer? A machine. Human automaton. A puppy. Oh. All a dancer needs is to think and feel and breathe and sleep. With only one thought, dancing. I'm going to make her the greatest dancer in the world. I have to shut her up in prison to keep her away from the mess of men who want to give her a little petty love instead of a great career. Oh! You know, one of these days... We're... This is mine. Oh, I'm so sorry. One of these days, we're going to wake up and find ourselves asleep. That's fine. <laughs> I, I just want to see how your face moves. Oh, I think anything. Now hurry up now. My five minutes is nearly over. I want to have a snowman with a heart as cold as ice for a bum 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 ba -da -dum. Ba -da -da. Now, uh, put your foot up on that chair. Pull up your dress, please. I want to see your knee. I just want to see how it works. Now, uh, flip it. Flip it? Yes. Oh. 
Forever? And where will we be without Suzanne dancing for our bread and butter uh, and champagne? I tell you, I'm going to keep her from anything resembling love. Ha, ha, ha. When love comes along, you won't be able to stop it. No? Well, if it comes to that, I'll begin it. Dolphy, my Don Juan isn't as young as when I first met him. And a man who has been a bachelor for 20 years... Or more. Or more. He gets to know too much about women. Maybe that's why you're the only one I'm really fond of. Mama. Mama. Stop sniffling. Well, time's up. Just a minute. May I please look at it? Yeah. Well, then a lot of legs and arms. I don't look like that. Oh, well, this is a mechanical drawing. This is what I make the puppet from. Don't you understand? No, I don't. I'm much prettier than that. <laughs> well, I haven't looked at you in that way. No, you are pretty. Very pretty. Make a beautiful puppet. Dorothy, you're crazy. We'll see. Yes? It's me, I... How did you get in here? Oh, I just dropped in. Well, just drop out. Thank you for posing. I'll let you see the puppet when it's finished. You'll like it. Well, Suzanne? I'm very grieved at discovering this midnight rendezvous of yours. Nothing, really. I... Nothing? Is this a nightly occurrence? How long has this been going on? Never, never before. Now stop. What you do with your private life is really none of my personal affair. But as your manager, any indiscretion of yours affects our business relations. Therefore, I now inform you that I am tearing up our contract. You are free. Mama and I will withdraw. Oh, you mean... But you wouldn't leave me. Yes. You don't need us any longer. So you'll find some other girl who'll appreciate our talent. And unselfish care. If only I hadn't seen you with that boy. If only I could be spared the humiliation, the, the insufferable wave of jealousy that swept over me. But you're not jealous of him. But why not? Just because I've never let you guess any emotion of mine doesn't mean that I haven't any. We've never talked about anything that went on in here, have we? I've never let you see that I have a heart and that I am and always have been in love with you. Stop it. Well, now you know. And now forget it. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, you're not. <laughs> you don't love me. I do love you. But... Not in the way I want. Marriage. Marriage? Oh. But I never thought of marriage to you. I'd have to love you first. Suzanne, my dear, love is common sense. A modern woman, particularly the woman of the theatre, looks upon matrimony as a means of protecting her career. Well, of course, you don't want a career. I must have a career. How can I have one without you and Mama? Oh, you'll probably never miss us. You're my only friend. Real friend. The only family I've got. Oh, Dolphy, what shall I do? I've always come to you for advice, haven't I? 
I can't now. I can't ask you for advice about... about you. But why not? You want to know whether it'd be wise for you to marry me. My answer is no. No? Yes, no. Let me go. You have a sort of affection for me, but you're not sure if it will ripen into love. Therefore, don't take a chance. Let me go. You'll find romance waiting for you somewhere. That's my advice. Dolphy, I love you for being so fair. Thank you, my darling. Goodbye. Oh, please don't leave me, Dolphy. I can't bear the thought of being alone. If you and Mama will stay, I'll... You'll marry me? I promise you the most brilliant career in the history of the theatre. Good night, my darling. I'll see. Thank you. It's that young pup, Pippa Deer. He wants his doll to play with. And he wants to see you, isn't it? All right. Maybe I'd better not. Dolphy might. Here. She's sorry she can't see you. She sends you a souvenir. If you look. San Maritz number. San Maritz number. San Maritz Thank number. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Baron. Thank you so She's much. Much too good for you. Yes, I know she is. <laughs> well, Baron, who'd have thought little Suzanne would ever marry you? I know. Isn't How'd you do it? <laughs> so you're going to be a married man in the morning, eh, Baron? Yes, sir, I am. Oh, it's wonderful. I just heard about it. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Baron. Oh, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. I certainly deserve it. She's a sweet girl. She certainly is. Yeah, we're going to be married in the morning. Well, good luck, Baron. Thank you very much. I'll give you ten francs on my speaker if you let me sit here.
You can't keep me lying here forever. After so many weeks, you should be able to tell me. Will I ever dance again? It's possible. But not probable. Well... And give me an advance of 5,000 francs, you can start bidding Suzanne for next season. Suzanne is through. I've seen the doctor myself. Did I... Did I say Suzanne? Oh, this is a slip of the tongue. I, I want an advance on Fifi. Who? Fifi. Because I'm going to take that girl and make her the greatest dancer in the world. Give me an aspirin. I will not give you an aspirin. I'm going to give you a dancer. She's got everything. Beauty, figure, grace, charm, seductiveness, loveliness. Now we're going to have a show. Are you ready? We're ready. All right. <laughs> oh, take it away. Why do you ever show me that? Well, you know I can never dance again. Oh, take it away. <laughs> I didn't think I... Oh, I just wanted to amuse her. Better leave her alone for a few minutes. <laughs> Doctor, isn't there anyone that can help her? Perhaps Lorenzo, but it would be a miracle even from him. Lorenzo? Where can I find him? At the children's hospital. But, but I've been to see him and he won't take the case. Yes, he will. But my boy, you don't understand. Even a doctor has but two hands and one heart. Lorenzo works 20 hours a day and only takes children. Thank you. children laugh? Oh, yes. Very well. I'll see her. Thank you. Thank you. Is that too heavy? I think I understand what you're trying to accomplish with this apparatus, Doctor. The first stretching movement is to overcome the shortening of the great adductor muscle. Precisely. The second will relieve the tension of the fascia lata. Mm -hmm. And the third will free the piriformis muscle. Is that right? Hmm. Your knowledge of anatomy. You studied medicine? No, but you forget, Dr. Lorenzo, that you only mend arms and legs. We make them. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite fine. <laughs> bell for the performance. It's 8.15. I'll hurry back upstairs after the show and help you to your room in Shazam. Oh, I can walk up those little stairs with my crutches. Uh, you might fall. I'll carry. Yes. Now, you stay here till me. Rattle will take your place tonight. Thanks. Good night, Doctor. We'll take good care of her. I'm sure you will. Good night. Complete rotation and stretching 50 times tonight. Now, this should be increased 25 times each day 
until you reach 250 daily. It will be a little painful just at first. And it will require a great deal of patience from you. Oh, I'm used to pulling strings that require great patience. <laughs> well, I leave you in the hands of the maker of little people. Mm -hmm. I'll call in again and see you tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, I'm such a nuisance. Making you miss the performance. Disturbing all your household. Making everybody happy. Shut up now. I want to try this thing. Gotta start sometime. Ready? Oh. Oh, that's my leg you've got there. I know it. Oh. One. Oh. This hurts me more than it does you. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh. 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 copy the contract and there's mine for only six months rent three you're getting an interest in the greatest dancer in Paris one five six seven eight hundred years you'll sure be great Of course you can. 
And with your name, it'll be the making of the theater. Before you came, I couldn't do what I wanted to. Modernize our shows. But now, with you, Father will let me. He said so. We're going to put on the St. Morris number. Just like the one in the big theater. Only better. We're going to create new numbers, advertise you, and have a grand opening night. I'll have to be perfect for that. And I have a topic to practice, Mr. Knight. The best high night and work it outside. Mm-hmm. You can put me down now. I can walk here. Yeah, I like to carry you. Do you? Yes. <laughs> you wanted a puppet? Anyone in particular? Yes. This one of you. And I'll boss him around the same way you do me. <laughs> look, Tony. How sort of pathetic they look. As if they were waiting for someone to bring them to life. <laughs> well, they're alive enough, all right. To me. They're not like us poor humans. They never die. Don't get lonely, Suzanne. Your partner's going to stay out all night. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, I used to think my dolls were alive. I outgrew it. Everybody outgrows it. Except you. You puppeteers. Yeah, I suppose we do seem strange to other people. Living in a little world of our own, surrounded by our puppets, who are very real to us. Maybe I'm the strangest one of the whole troop. See, it's been in my blood for five generations. I was born with a string to one of them in my hand. They were my toys. Playmates. The show traveled around so much, I never had a chance to make friends with other kids, so they became my friends. Huh. Well, look here. This is my first pal. You're still my best friend, aren't you, Judy? Of course you are. I can always count on him, never changing. Always the same happy smile. When I was little, my father gave me a little white dog. He died. I cried about it for a week. Until Samson made me a puppet just like him. Then I was happy again. I had my dog back, and he's never left me. Out! 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 Now this one is sort of my godmother. Whenever I stumbled or hurt myself, she consoled me. And when I did something wrong, I confessed to her. She understood, and I felt all right again. Oh, I want you to meet Paolo and Francesca. They're sweethearts. We never separate them. Always hang them up, just like this. But there's a mean old cuss. Tries to look innocent, but I don't trust him. Do you know Father's the only one that can handle him? See? Tried to kick me. And this is Yvonne. She was my first love when I was 14. That's why I made this puppet of her to tease me. She's still faithful. And you know, that's rare in a girl. Oh, but when I was 16, I fell in love with Gloria. Well, I never actually met the human Gloria, the model for her. She was a chorus girl. She married a banker. Now she weighs 200 pounds. My glory has kept her waistline remarkably well, don't you think? No, I haven't had any other sweethearts since, Gloria. I've been drifting around for a long time looking for someone. But not finding her until... Suzanne. Tell me. The model for her is a great dancer. Was. A glamorous star, far above my reach. I could never hope she'd even look at a puppeteer. Just because of an accident that I know her now. Soon she'll be well again. And she'll go back to her real love, the stage. But I'll have my Suzanne always. She'll never leave me. Tony, you're the funniest man I've ever known. I know it. Come on, young lady. Off to bed you go. Good night, Tony. Oh, excuse me. Good night, Tony. <laughs> Good night, Suzanne.
I'm afraid she doesn't understand, Suzanne. Well, we have secrets no one will ever know. Adam. Well. Good night. Sweet dreams. Why is she done to him? You're not Tony to me. You're just wood cloth, paint and things. So is she. Why didn't he know that? There must be something about you, puppet. Here I am talking to you, just like he does. Oh, stupid. Yes, I wish he wouldn't act as if you were fond of her instead of... She's beating time for you, Fifi. Not giving you a lesson in arithmetic. Come, do it again. Oh, no. That's enough for today. That's enough for a lifetime. If you go on as you're, as you're going, you'll gradually work yourself up to being an amateur. Say, I'm just as much fed up as you are. I'm quitting. Well, you can't do that. Oh, can't I? Well, listen, Baron Adolf Valentine de Derrier de Vermenu, alias Adolf Herring. Once a herring, always a herring. I'm through. Hey, wait a minute. You... Let her go, or I'm through. And if I can't afford to buy cigarettes, I'm through. You told me I could teach a sack of potatoes to dance, but Fifi... Well, if this goes on, what are we going to do? You'll have to go to work. It's an art I've never acquired. Maybe you won't have to. I've been inquiring about Suzanne. Mm -hmm. She can't dance yet, but she's getting better. I didn't think it possible. Neither did anyone else. But Dr. Lorenzo's a marvel. That means she may be able to dance again next season. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And how about that boy, Tony? They've been together every day for months. They're young. And moon still shine and birds still twitter. I'm not forgetting anything. Suzanne is still my fiancée. I've got witnesses. And we can soon get rid of that boy. In the meantime, I want you to go down there and look over the ground. Mm -hmm. Then, if Suzanne is getting better, September will mean caviar. And champagne. And cigars! <coughs> Is that better, Raphael? That's much better. Try it again. I've ever seen. I write music. I make it. I get a tune in my head and I go around with it till it comes out all right. Like I did with this love song. those muscles. Oh, I promise I won't do it again. Till tomorrow. Tony, do you know what that means? I can dance again. Maybe. Oh, Tony. Hey, you feel pretty good, don't you? Oh, wonderful. Wouldn't you if you could walk again? Yeah. <laughs> Shall we try out the new song? Yes. You go upstairs and I'll get the puppet. Amelia, will you work the music? Everybody's got to watch this now, you know, it's the first time we've tried out this song. All right. You ready? Yes. 
You know all the words? Well, I hope so. I'm not quite sure on one line. Well, let's try it anyway. All right. Ready, Amelia? Yes, Tony. All right. Go. Dark. Got the people in their beds are keeping heart. In the steeple, friendly bells are keeping count. Oh, moments hurrying by. Scurrying by here. In the gables, all the troubles disappear. There is nothing but the roof when you are near. Between our love song and heaven, my dear. Just a little garret. Who share it? I wonder with me. You've got a kettle for tea. And room for one beside me. Just a little place there. Yes, space there for someone I know. A place where lovers can go. And leave their trouble below. Our songs of love. We'll make the dusty rafters ring. The stars above will wander at the song. We'll sing. Just a little garret. Come share it. How happy we'll be in the garret for you and for me. <laughs> That's fine. Well, let's go through it again. All right, Amelia, start the music over again. Wait a minute. I don't quite understand. What does she do at the end? Does she do this or this? Then I didn't want this to happen. You didn't want it to? No. Oh. oh I'm sorry. You're sorry you kissed me? No. Yes. Well, then, why did you do it? I couldn't help it. Oh, I don't know. Well, then, please, never do it again. I won't, Suzanne. No. Did you feel like kissing me? Yes, and I did, but I, I didn't want to. Well, I mean, I planned not to. Tony Maratini, this is a very serious matter. Yes, I know it is very serious. I thought a lot about it. About you and me? For a long time. Oh, well then, why didn't you talk to me about it before? Said I suppose you talked it all over with the puppet. How did you know? Oh, Tony. You're the most exasperating, thoughtless, unresponsive. Oh, I wish I knew a lot of big enough words to fit you. Listen to me. I promised myself that if I ever meet the man I... Well, the man wants to kiss me. He'd not be like any of the ones I've known before. He'd be different. But you're too different. Suzanne. Do you like me? Ask the puppet. Would be something unnatural and wrong if I did like you? but I want you to just the same. You see, I don't just love you, it's, it's idolizing you that makes the difference. Because we only idolize things that are 
beyond reach. Things we can never hope to have. You don't belong here with me, with my family. You're from another world, a world of big theaters, bright lights, newspaper headlines. You're a star. You walk today. Soon you'll dance again. Mm. What that means to you, I saw in your eyes just now when you made that step. That's all you think about, night and day, isn't it? Truth. Dancing again. Going back to the theater. Being greater success than ever before. Ask me, Suzanne. Isn't that true? Isn't that your dream? Yes, Tony. But... There's no place for me in your world. I know that. That's why I plan never to kiss you or to let you know I... how I felt about you. Tony, there's a place for you wherever there's a place for me. If I love you, and I do. Oh, Suzanne. What, Tony? I'm going to kiss you again. Oh, Why did you have to come just now? I'll be right back. Will you be lonely? Uh, I'll have Suzanne. Oh, hello, Mama. Please come up. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. My darling. This is the... I'm so glad to see you, dear. Oh, the come on in, please. Let's sit over there on the bed. Oh, Mama. Please stop sniffling. I can't help it. The doctor calls me a human drain pipe. You don't know how I've missed you. And Dolphin. I think he misses you as much as I do. And he has a funny way of showing it. I do miss him sometimes, too. Even though he dropped me like a hot potato. You see, you and he are sort of part of the time when I could still dance. You're happy here, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. And no. When a woman says that, means she's in love. <laughs> I am in love, and that's why I'm happy. But I'm unhappy because I have a rival. Who? And if I told you, you'd think I'd lost my mind. My rival is quite remarkable. Has a strange fascination for him. He loves her because she never changes. Always smiles. And she can dance. She hasn't got a broken leg. Oh, Mama. I can't let her beat me. I've got to dance again, better than ever. And you've got to teach me. Suzanne. And I'm starting with her next week. Next week? Don't count your chickens before you've stolen them. She is in love with that boy, head over heels. Mama, don't insult me. You think I'm afraid to cross swords with an amateur? She's angry with you for not going to see her. Is she? Well, I'll convince her in five minutes that she's been neglecting me. Yes, I can feel it, the depression's over. Oh, Mama. You'll never know how I've detested drinking beer. Slow down. Higher. Higher. Slow down. Higher. Higher. Good. Ah. You seen this? What? Valdo has given me an advance of 5,000 francs against next season. Has he? <laughs> Don't forget, you're entitled to your 10%, aren't you? Uh, I've already taken it. Ah. I'll keep this for you in case you don't need it right now. Suzanne. Oh, Tony. Oh. You remember the Baron, don't you? People always remember me. Delighted to see you. Uh, how do you do? So we made you for the dress rehearsal downstairs. You haven't forgotten. Oh, of course not. You know, we're opening our new show tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll go and change. I'll be right back. I'll go with you. Good afternoon. 
So, Monsieur Malatini, I understand that you and Suzanne are trading the blissful fields of romance. You're going to get married. Yes. Charming. Well, please allow an ex-fiancé to congratulate the new one. Suzanne is still under my management, in a business way, of course. Yeah, I signed a new contract with her this morning. She's going to dance in the review again next season. Well, probably she's told you all about that. No. She has. I'm ready, Tony. You're going back into the review. Oh, Dolphy told you. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yes, I suppose so. That means you'll be leaving us then. I'll see you downstairs. He's delighted you're going to dance again next season, isn't he? He didn't seem so. No, that's what I meant. But I expected that. Why? Well, he doesn't want to lose you. Well, I don't blame him for being selfish and not seeing your side of it. And I dare say he'll make a great puppeteer out of somebody who ought to be the greatest dancer in the world. But if that is love, well... How can you talk about love? At least he took care of me when you... No, 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 wait a minute, Suzanne. Before you say anything to hurt my feelings. Well, I knew you were in love with him before you knew it yourself. Well, I do love him. If he needs me here and doesn't want me to go back to the review, I won't. Please tell Walden he can keep his 5,000 francs. Oh, wait a minute. You signed a contract you can't draw out now. Can't I? I don't want to be the greatest dancer in the world. I'm not going to let anything come between Tony and me. So please, please stay away from me. How those doll makers are spoiled their child. Dorothy, what are you doing with that revolver? Merely preparing for eventualities. As long as Suzanne loves that young string puller, we're broke, and I'm tired of being broke. Come on. I'm going to put them in my room. Why, you're crazy. I oh, you're all right in a little theater. Better in a large theater. I wish I had an ice man with a heart as cold as snow. I have a summer's full of plumbers and I tell them mostly slow. I'm tired of little ice cubes that are electric made. I want my ice in a husky place on an ice man's shoulder blade. I'm tired of kissing milkmen and the laundry man's a pet. A heart of gold despite the cold is hidden in the rubber of an ice man's vest. I've got to have a nice man who can lift 200 pounds. And I guarantee my top will be the last stop on his round.
engaged to Rebecca Jackson. Well, that's one way of getting Suzanne back. If she loves the boy, I'll take him too. I think I go home to Sweden. If the nightingale could sing like you, it'd sing much sweeter than they knew, for you brought a new kind of love to me. If the sandman brought me dreams of you, I'd try to live my whole life through, for you brought a new kind of love to me. Well, all I know is just what little I read in the paper. But what I see is I prowl around. Well, it ain't my old friend, Maurice uh, Key Valley. Look out that goat, I'm gonna lay this rope right around your neck. Don't you see Maurice wants to sing? Come on, goat. Us Democrats got to get out of here. Eskiolele or more. Eskiolele or more. Put it over. You handled her beautifully, too. They seem to like her. Why wouldn't they? You ever see anyone dance like that? <laughs> Don't you wish you were a puppet? I almost feel like one sometimes. After all, I created the dance and made her do it. I pulled the strings. Of course you did. But the wonderful thing about a puppet is that anyone can pull the strings with a little practice. But just think. People will be applauding her long after we're forgotten. That's right. Doesn't take long to forget a person, does it? No. There's some reporters backstage. They want to see you, Suzanne, and Tony, too. Really? Come on, Suzanne. You see? You're famous again. Here are the children. Good evening, mademoiselle. We're from the paper. Good evening. We understand that uh, even though you are well again, you have given up all idea of returning to the stage because you prefer to dance through the medium of a puppet of yourself. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, Monsieur Malatini. I'm Georges Valdon of the Revue de Paris. Oh, yes. I'd like to make a business proposition to you and your son. Why? Yes, sir. I've never really thought about it. Will you pose for a photograph, please? You, your fiancée, and the puppet? <laughs> Certainly. I'll get her. Could you please excuse me? It seems like an exciting evening. I'm really very tired. Uh, maybe the puppet's very tired, too, huh? <laughs> All right, if you're tired, we'll print one of your old photos when you were a hit at the review. In person, not a wooden image. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Keep turning here. Stop it. Yes. No, I'm not making any more mistakes. Celebrate! Yeah, we're going to celebrate. Hey, come down to the show. That's right. Put the gun over this side. Here she is. Where's Suzanne? Here she is. Marvelous. The stage the best place for this picture. Come on, Paul. Uh, Suzanne! Suzanne! She's gone to stage for a few minutes. Better let her rest a while. She's awfully tired. Will you please come along with your mother, dear? We can't wait for Mademoiselle. We've got to make the morning papers. What's the matter, Suzanne? Oh, nothing. Sad, eh? I know what it is to be sad, too. 
So sad that life doesn't mean much anymore. The whole company, everybody. I including Mademoiselle Suzanne. I'm at the end of my rope. You've made a great success tonight. You go up and up. And I'll go down. But with my last breath, I'll cheer for you. Cheer for you to reach the dazzling height. Give me that, Dalton. What? That gun you've got in your pocket. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do myself. Oh, my dear. If we can come to terms. Oh, we can come to terms, all right. Yes, of course we can. I'll get Suzanne. Yes. Anything I can for you. But I can't give up, Tony. Even if. What are you doing here? Didn't Suzanne tell you this afternoon she isn't going back in the review? Leave her alone. I think you've caused enough unhappiness in her life. Now get out and stay out. Are you speaking for yourself or for Suzanne? Huh. I am Suzanne. Let's forget about him and his high hat and his emotional tricks. He's a bad puppet. Is everyone a puppet to you? Well, he is. I wouldn't give him room to hang. Come on, we're going to celebrate.
Valjean? Yes. And you signed the contract? No. I turned it down. Why? Well, tell me. What are we going to do? Nobody's been to see the show since Suzanne left. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Why? It's not right, is it? I know the steps, but... Does your leg bother you? No. Not a bit? Not a bit. Better rest a while, dear. Rest? Yes. Mama. <laughs> Smile, you old horse blanket. Don't let him see. <laughs> She's dead on her feet. <laughs> You're so wise. She's dead in her heart. <laughs> Marvelous, isn't it? Didn't I tell you when love came to that girl's life, she was true? <laughs> Barry. Yes? Uh, just a minute. Yes, our fellow. I've got a fortune in this show. Well, <laughs> finest investment you ever had. And I'm not going to lose it. Even if I have to get another dancer. <laughs> Suzanne rehearses badly. She always has. But you give her an orchestra and, a, and an audience, and her leg's as good as ever it was. It isn't her leg that's broken. It's her spirit. Oh, ridiculous. Why, she's as gay as a lark. You're not fooling me. I saw her in that puppet show. She was great with that boy. That's it. What? We'll see. Tony, I want you in my show. I'm sorry, Monsieur Valdon, but I'm getting ready a new show of my own. Well, maybe I can use it. What's it like? If it's as good as your other ideas, I'll make you famous all over the world. I don't care what the world thinks of me. I know what I think of the world. That's what I'm working on now. A puppet number that'll show the world what it is. And show people that they're nothing but puppets. Flesh and blood, but bad puppets. Filled with conceit, treachery, jealousy. Thinking they're their own masters when all the time they're on strings, controlled by a big fat devil who makes them dance. Hey, can you put on an act like that with puppets? Of course we can. It'll be the biggest thing we've ever done, and the truest. We'll go broke. We're going to do it. You won't go broke. I'll use it. Your audience won't stand for anything serious. Well, it'd be serious with you, but they think it's funny. Oh, I mean, uh, uh, they like being made fun of. All right, see. We'll make it a great combination number. Look here. You have this devil of yours pull the string. Make the puppet of Suzanne dance, see? Then we clear the stage, and Suzanne herself comes out and does a dance just like it. I'm afraid Suzanne and I don't... Wait a minute. We'll make it a competition between the two. We'll see who's better, a human dancer or a puppet dancer. Great. All right. That's all I can think to tell you now. But let's try and give a performance tonight. All right. Go ahead. Girls, watch your wardrobe. You better hurry. You'll be late. Well, everything is gone for tonight. We are sold out solid. Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, that's good news anyway. Yes. Well, there it is. The biggest production I've ever attempted. Music, set, chorus, puppet show, everything. And what have I got for a star? A dancer who can't dance. Well, my dear Valdon, oh, you can't don't I... talk to me. I'm through with you, too. I thought bringing those two together would fix things up, but it hasn't. They're as friendly as a cucumber and a herring. Two herrings. It's too late to take Suzanne out of the opening, but I'm signing up Manette, and I'm going to put her in there just as soon as she learns the routine. Come on, John. Now, listen, everybody. They're having trouble with their show, but we're not going to have any trouble with ours. We're going to give the greatest performance we've ever given. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get everything ready. Well, I know I'm not going to take this makeup off before the show. Should, should I restring the small puppet? Well, now, what should I do? Should I do the painting? No, no, don't get excited. Don't get no. excited. Now, just do everything you used to do, only better. You'd think we'd never given a show before in our lives. No? Do now, everything what? you used to do, only better. Only do everything you used to do, only better. Thank you. Good luck tonight, mademoiselle. Thank you. Hello, Tony. Hello. Come on, darling. I'd like to break his neck. Lie down there, dear, and take a nice rest. Let me cover you up. There you are. 
I'm going out to get something to eat. Can I bring it to Worthless, good for nothing. 
blamable, accusable, and human hand unloving. Your Majesty will meet out punishment to fix the crime. Don't leave it to a jury, cause they're wrong most every time. You have killed a puppet. You're a very naughty girl. Now listen to the sentence of this court. Some very crawly spiders will weave a sticky web around you till you strangle and you're dead. Can't see him now. He's on the stage doing his act. I must. You were so exhausted, I let you sleep as long as possible. But the first act's nearly over. You'll have to hurry. Quick, get into your costume. No. Ready, everybody? In a minute, the curtain goes up. Now, let's prove to them we've got a better show than they have. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt the puppet. Please forgive me. I didn't mean what I said about you, either. Here's the curtain. Well, no matter what you think of me, I wish you all the luck in the world. I make husbands beat their wives, give children smallpox, measles, hives, make lovers false, cause war and crime. Oh, don't I have a lovely time? Bring on your batch of sinners and make the fires hot. I love to hear them sizzle when they're roasting in the pot. <laughs> Who are you? I'm a low-down gangster. Duck your head or I'll fill it full of lead. I pull the strings. Mother-in-law, I plan with glee my daughter's husband's misery. Uh, but I pull the strings. <laughs> if you really want to go, I'll take that control. Suzanne, oh. you go out on that stage and dance. Show the world that a puppet is nothing but a, a lump of wood. And every time one of those devils throws you around, just imagine it's the devil and me doing it. Hurting you. And hate me. Hate me for it. That'll make you dance. Oh, Tony, I love you. That'll make me down. What's the matter with you? You'll spoil her makeup. See you later. Who are you? A woman, alas, by nature's plan, but I like to dress up like a man. And I pull the string. <laughs> Come on, you sawdust, Suzanne. You've got your work cut out for you now. Who are you? I'm a dancer. Feet like wings. I don't need you to pull the strings. Oh, you don't, eh? The gods above have made of me an angel in disguise. Unless you let me go right now, they'll snatch out both your eyes. Who's afraid of the gods above? Uh, come here. Thank you. 
Thousand francs a week. Uh, ten. Seventeen fifty. Uh, Twelve fifty. So for fifteen. Fifty. Fifteen. Tony, Suzanne, I signed a contract for you both. Ten thousand francs a week. Mama, stop sniffling. <laughs> <laughs> 